are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about Ja Morant here in this video because Ja Morant can't stay out of the news. Now, this particular story here is not directly about Ja Morant, but this possibly could actually have implications for Ja Morant when it actually comes to uh, the teenager that he actually struck in a uh, pickup basketball game at his house. Ja Morant hit this 17 year old. Now, of course, Ja Morant is actually claiming self-defense. Now, John Morant's uh, friend, uh, Devontae Park, he also hit this teenager, guys. And now we got an update on his situation. And this could actually have some implications, I believe, on John Morant. Here we go, guys. Look at this on our kick. Arrest warrant issued for John Morant's best friend, Devontae Pack. I believe I actually called it on park at first, but it's Devontae Pack. Let's read this, guys. Memphis Grizzlies star John Morant uh, caught a ton of heat this past year for allegedly fighting a teenager during a heated pickup basketball game in 2022. Well, an arrest warrant has been issued for Morant's best friend, Devontae Pack, for his involvement in assaulting then 17 year old Joshua Holloway. During the scene, the Shelby County District in Tennessee District Attorney's Office announced Monday that the arrest warrant targets Pack for allegedly hitting Holloway after the teenage the teenager hit Morant on the chin with the basketball. Now, from what I actually understand about this incident, um, it was a pickup gang. I believe um, he was like checking into the game and he uh, threw the ball and the ball like allegedly um, hit John Morant. And then John Moran got triggered and then him and his boy got into it with the teenager and the teenager got hit by both um, Pac and John Moran. But let's go ahead. Go ahead and uh, read this here. The release reads, quote, the Shelby County's uh, Sheriff's Office obtained a warrant for the arrest of Devontae Pack, who has been charged with simple assault about the uh, July 2022 altercation. Involving uh, Mr. Pack, Memphis Grizzlies basketball player John Morant, and a juvenile basketball player at Mr. Morant's uh, residence in Eats. The SCSO consulted with the SCDAG before obtaining the warrant. Holloway filed a suit against the uh, Grizzly Star on November 22nd, and John Morant responded with a counter uh, suit five months later. In February, uh, Pack was at the forefront of several damaging jaw stories, man, because anywhere Pack is, John Moran is right there and there seems to be trouble. Um, including an encore encore on skirmish with a uh, Lakers fan, Shannon Sharp. Uh, Pack was escorted out of uh, the Grizzlies game for the quarrel. He was also involved in the drive by scare. John Moran and his friends pulling on members of the Indiana Pacers after the game was sharp, threatening, threatening the Indy personnel with red dot sight, sight lasers. Uh, then there are the two times that Morant flashed a gun on social media, with the second instance being the final straw for the NBA. And you guys know he was suspended for 25 games by the Marxist NBA China a lot of people felt that suspension was actually uh, pretty soft, uh, 25 games, because um, John Moran just can't stay out of trouble and can't learn his lesson. Now, over here, at the end of last month, you can see here, John Morant's lawyer files motion to dismiss lawsuit involving teenager he allegedly punched on grounds of self-defense. John Morant's lawyers have filed a motion to dismiss the civil lawsuit he finds himself in the middle of with the teenager he allegedly punched last summer during a pickup game. Moran allegedly brandished a gun. He would go again at then 17 year old Josh Holloway after allegedly hitting him as well. Moran's legal team is claiming that the Memphis Grizzlies star 
was acting in self-defense, which in turn is admitting that Morant did strike the minor. Yeah, but right now, Devontae Pack, John Morant's friend, has an arrest warrant out for him now. I mean, guys, I'm not a lawyer, but is there going to be a, be an arrest warrant for John Morant now? Because the friend who um, allegedly punched the teenager is now getting arrested. Now, if I'm putting two and two together, just maybe, just maybe, John Morant is probably going to have an arrest warrant here pretty soon as well. I don't know. But look here. Quote, Morant acted in self-defense when Holloway intentionally struck him in the face with a basketball at Mr. Morant's home last July. The motion to dismiss from Red. Uh, he therefore enjoys civil immunity under the, quote, self-defense immunity statute. Yeah. Man, if they're going to arrest John Morant's friend, something is telling me just maybe, just maybe John Morant will probably actually um be arrested, too. Just maybe. I don't know. Uh, T. Morant, Jaw's father, was present during the altercation. He is on record explaining that he was encouraging Holloway uh, to play aggressively with his son. T. Morant also testified he heard the teenager threaten to shoot at Morant's house, uh, which is where the pickup game uh, took place. The altercation allegedly started after a hard uh, chet ball from Holloway slipped through Morant's hands before striking him in the face. Man, we'll have to see, man. I don't know exactly um, what's going to happen with this whole thing. But John Morant, you know, could be in trouble. Oh, but it does go on here. It says uh, Mike Miller, the former NBA player turned agent, took part in a 90 minute uh, deposition explaining what a chet ball actually actually is. Quote, a normal uh, chet ball is just to make sure everyone is ready. Miller said during the deposition. So when you chet the ball, me and you are are playing one on one. I chet the ball uh, to you before you hand it back to me and everyone is Ready to play. Yeah, we do that a lot in, um, you know, in uh, street basketball. They check the ball and then, you know, that's pretty uh, common standard right there. Holloway first filed a lawsuit against Moran in September before Moran filed a countersuit on his own. The countersuit is alleging that the teenager was the aggressor, claiming the self-defense at the time as well. Now, given the other serious off-court issues Moran is facing, it's clear his legal team thinks it would be best to get rid of the civil suit and focus on focus more on the 25 game suspension he's facing, which he already um uh, has right now. So this story actually came out weeks ago now, uh, looks like roughly uh, two weeks ago. And now John Morant's best friend now. Yeah, he's getting arrested over this. So. Something's telling me, guys, that there's a possibility that John Morant could actually get arrested, too. I'm not really sure, man. I mean, trouble just keeps coming John Morant's way. So we will have to see what actually does happen. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.